Hi, this is Bob, and this is a little follow-up on the SB110 restoration. I have completed the restoration, had the rig on the air quite a bit, really doing a good job. I actually have two of these rigs. This is the second one here. But I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I've done here with this rig. Uh, one of the things I did was replace some resistors that had changed value. This is 3,900 ohms here and uh, it had changed value it was 5400 ohms and right down here is a 47 ohm resistor it had changed value it was up to 214 ohms this is V9 tube here these were half watt resistors they are now one watt resistors I did that to give them a little more power and they will change value a lot less than a half watt resistor I also changed the 100 watt cathode resistor on the audio output tube that's mounted on the circuit board back here and I changed that also with a 1 watt resistor. So uh, those are some things you want to change. Also, when you work on an SB110, change the capacitors, uh, this one here especially, and you see here these small ones. I changed all of those. And believe it or not, I got those small capacitors out of a uh, satellite receiver I picked up at a garage sale for $2. I, now the other thing I did here is I put a small fan here. There's a piece of number 18 wire you can see twisted there that just goes into the final compartment through a couple of those little holes. Comes back out again and just twists up here and I bend it over the top so that you could uh, hold the fan on that way so there's nothing really attached. And then there's a small terminal strip here with a single little single uh, sheet metal screw screwed into one of the holes and holds a full wave, full wave bridge rectifier and a hundred microfarad capacitor. The power to run this is on uh, that little green wire. It comes over here and is hooked right up here to the dial light uh, right here. This black wire here feeds the number 53 dial light for the meter. It goes to that terminal. You want to put your uh, 12 volt wire on there and the wire just goes down there around the chassis and over to the uh, rectifier assembly. Uh, now when you hook that up you do not want to ground the output of that rectifier because you're using one side of the ground on that filament uh, winding to for the input so you don't want to ground the rectifier to short it out here's a schematic for it right here that's the way it's wired right there you can pause this uh, video if you want to look at the schematic you can buy that little rectifier at Radio Shack and like I see, I took mine out of a little uh, uh, junk satellite receiver. I also took those capacitors out of it, those 10 microfarad capacitors that I put on the circuit board. And this one here came out of there too, the 100 microfarad at 25 volts. So uh, that's it, fellas. I just wanted to show you the nice little cooling fan.